Sorry, Stephen here with Futures Trading. I'm supposed to be back on next week, but they're hitting some targets. So I want to go ahead and get this out the way. Uh, GC is probably going to be the next thing I'll cover up, but I'm going to incorporate uh, the U.S. oils and Forex pairs in here, and we're going to look at that BTC one more time. But here's the NQ. Uh, in the last video that I shot, uh, that was on the 21st, all right, and I gave you some targets, and we're going to take a look at that. And that was that video there as well as that video there. And so now let's take a brief look at that. I'm going to try to get this out the way in 10 minutes here. Price was here. Uh, that was 3 p.m. on the 21st. I put the ranges in here for you so you can kind of see how that works with all of this information. I even put the center of the scale there. So as I scroll forward, you can just lay your eyes on the upper part, the lower part, and the center of the scale and just kind of play that out as I scroll forward. Now, in the last video that we sh that we uh, looked at, well, shot here, uh, the 950 was up to the 050 for the sell side, but I flipped it for you. So I took it and put it from the 950 and I told you it should act as demand down to the 850. So I flipped it upside down because we had targets above as well as below. All right. So took and did that for you. And on yesterday, they they kind of meandered their way in it a little bit, but then they pushed up and then they gave you a nasty, nasty drop. Now, look at what they did. It came really close. Now, remember, I gave you these targets back on the 21st, and those targets actually been there for a long time. It's just you guys are uh, finding out about them on the 21st. I already knew that they was there. All right, so now uh, you can see uh, they gave you the nasty little drop. There's the ranges. You can kind of just look at how all of that worked. And again, the center of the chart and all of that. And then today... This is what we're doing. Again, you can take a look at that scale. All right, so they made the targets. All right, so I won't cover this anymore, but should they want to drop down, I'll go ahead and give you this. That's that target there at 14.804. Now, remember, we got our static levels up here too. So uh, 150 to the 250 and 250 up to the 350. All right, so now that's that. Now that's out the way. We don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, now let's take a look at the, uh, the Bitcoin here. Now, remember, I put this, I'll try to do all this really quick here. I put this out on the 19th. So today is the 23rd. Let me put this in the screen for you. That was at 820. Today is the 23rd, Wednesday. I put that out over the weekend and it's 1108. All right, so now over the weekend, 841 a.m. that morning, August 19th, I told you, hey, look, they got a price above the market, 26, 234.08 for the weekend, all right? But if it doesn't climb, it will drop to the 25.5. All right, so that's the real price of interest. All right, now let me get this out your way. And of course, we were right there. Let me put this side by side. I did all this in the other video, but for those who's just looking at it for the first time, uh, there it is. All right, so now we were right there. All right, now scroll forward here. Same thing, center the chart right there for you. All right, now they got up to that price level. There it is. Turned away and of course came back down to the center. End of day, they were still beneath it. That was the 20th. We did this on the 19th. Went forward. There's that price level still again. They came up, hit it one more time. Uh, you can take a look at the center chart and all of that. End of day, still beneath it, 21st. And I said, even up to Monday, I told you in the last video, even up to Monday, let's see what they do. And so, of course, uh, they're still uh, beneath it. So price was here. I'm about to show you. In the video that I just did on the 21st, price was right here. All right, so they was right there and they were still beneath. And I told you, I said, hey, well, uh, let's see if they can get it done today. You know, they still acting like they want to pop up. But remember, I said 25.5 and it's a target even below that. And I told you that too, and I'll show it to you. Now, I told you it's still troublesome that they're still beneath that price level. It's just really, really bad off. So here's, of course, the 21st and here's the 22nd. So 22nd, they finally made it down there. All right, so here's... Uh, made it into the 25.5. All right. Made it into that 25.5. And here's the 23rd. All right. So here's the 23rd. And here we are. All right. Now, are they going to close above that price today? Or are we getting ready to drop back down? And again, here's that target for you. Now, we're going to come back to this at some point because that's that 24,286 I told you that they can get to if they don't want to stay above this 26,34. And I told you that price level is really, really important. And if not, this is where they're headed, up to the 29,149.50, all ahead of itself. All right, now, let's take a look at some of the other information here uh, that I put out with the FOMC. So the FOMC, I gave you this information. Then I actually came back for the recap and didn't want to show up, but I actually put the range in there for you. I only put the levels and the NC in there, but when I came back, I put the ranges as well as the trend distance. So you can kind of see the trend distance with what it is that I you know, present. 
And I even uh, went as far as to draw this information here too for the price pattern in case you don't know what that is. The mid is above that high and high. I mean, the uh, mid is below that low. That's the go. That's the go. All right. So, but when I came back, I drew the ranges and hardly no one showed up. All right. So, but this is where price was and this was back on the 16th. So everything I'm about to show you was back on the 16th. All right. Now, Keep in mind, it's all about the trend distance and that price pattern. All right. And I drew those boxes too. you know, the upper, uh, the middle of the scale, the upper part and the lower, you know, lower part of the scale. I drew all of that out for you as well. So now let's just take a look at that. All right. So still beneath center scale, you get a small rotation kind of moved up towards the middle and gave you another rotation uh, back towards the downside there. So now let's take a look at the Forex pairs. We're going to comb through these as well. Don't want to hold you long. All right. So here. Just kind of bring you back up to speed to what that was. All right. So on the 16th, price was there. And then, of course, there's your trend distance there. And they kind of just been, been uh, hanging out just a bit. Uh, and there you have it now. So now let's see. Let's see what we did here. Want to just, again, bring all this information back to you. Price was right there. And where the arrow is at, I have you noticed, you can go back and rewind the video or go back and look at the video. Where the arrow is at is where that bar was actually trading when I shot the video. All right. So drew the range for you. Uh, there's the trend distance. They supposed to make it. And yes, they went uh, down there and they got to it. All right. Now, you can take a look at all this information all over again on the channel. All you got to do is go click the video link. All right. Now, let's take a, take a look at this Euro USD. And price was right there. And clearly, you already know they were down. And there's the trend distance for you. All right. Now. And we're going to take a look at each one of these, kind of catch you up to speed. And as you can tell, if you just use the scale, you don't have to have Fibonacci and all that other stuff. Uh, again, this is an approach to that that's very universal, and I've been doing it for many years. All right, so now uh, the price was right there on that bar on the 16th, kind of rotated down, and they almost made that trend distance to the upside. It's not to say uh, they almost did it. They got really close. Not to say, well, yeah, they went on and went down, but they got really, really close, really close there. So... That's what you have on the pound Aussie. Let's see what we did here. Again, this was back on the 16th. All right. So gave you the trend distance. Clearly, they was bullish. And I even said it, even on the pound USD, I said they were bullish. And they, they did almost get that trend distance. They almost did it. And of course, you can utilize that information there. Just kind of use your chart scale. You don't have to have a whole bunch of indicators if you don't, don't have them. I understand if you don't have more, don't have the app to use them. Uh, there's other ways to go about trading. Again, uh, I'm using the tools. That's all. Like to work with tools and use them. That's all. That's all it is. So let's see what we got here on this uh, New Zealand JPY. All right. So remember, use your chart scale, count the bars, and you should do okay. All right. Now, uh, this is where price was at. And of course, there's that trend distance, and they made it kind of kept you in there for a bit and gave you trend distance on both sides of it, you know, kind of gave, gave it to you from both sides. All right. So learn to hold your trades. That's important. I talked about that on the, um, on the channel as well. Try to give you an understanding of how to hold the trade. All right. So trading psychology, remember that stay in your trade psychology. I tried to give you the mindset to want to stay in them. All right. So here they made trading trend distance just a little slow, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> they dropped down towards the chart third round. All right. So, but now they're back down and let's take a look at this Swiss franc. Uh, let's see. Yeah. They almost made that trend distance too. Just kind of fought you a little bit there. So on the 16th price was right there. Dipped down towards that center. I totally get it. And then they almost got to that trend distance, which is again, something that they'll do and then they'll rotate. All right. So Wanted to show you that information there. Now, if you're not familiar with the channel, I'm going to go through this really, really quickly here. Um, these are the most, uh, I guess, most uh, covered videos uh, here because everything that I do is based on this information here. So uh, this is a timeless content section. So I cover this information almost every video. I tried to put it together for you down here. Some in real time, some are not. If you want to view this information exclusively, you're more than welcome to uh, visit these two uh, sections here and they're in real time. Trading guide kind of offer you a little bit more information. The live trades, again, I've traded all of my different accounts, PAs, business, all of that. I did a thousand ticks in this trade, I believe is this one. Yeah, thousand ticks in that trade. Uh, trading psychology, if you blow out your account, as uh, a logical reason why you're doing it. And I believe that it's absolutely necessary. You can stay in your trade uh, based on the trend. And I, I can prove to you it's necessary to have that mindset and you're, you know, okay, if you know what that is, you'll know what a trend is, you'll stay there. So 
uh, these are aspects of becoming a full-time trader. Tried to give you some information there and even some, some other information that uh, you might need. And I see you guys liked it. Now, down here is the reason why I'm making this video. Knowing days and hours in advance where price should close can change how you trade. Now, should you need anything beyond the scope of YouTube and what I do on the social platforms, here it is right here. You can comb through this list. I'm doing uh, just a few videos to highlight how it is that I go about trading markets every day. And it's very simple. And I put targets in front of me to trade to before I get started to make my job a lot easier and not hard. All right. So I wish you all the best with your trading. Take care.